Morning fellas. It's what 8:20 and we're about 75 in the garage. <clears throat> and uh I haven't done anything on that since last night. Uh my pension check got into the bank last night, so we're going to run down into Henderson and uh pick up the t-shirts this morning. So uh like I said, there's only a handful uh, I think there's a total, I think, uh, if memory serves me right, there's 10 double X, there's about 8 uh, XLs, and there's two, uh, three XLs, and those two were already spoken for. Uh, those were uh, uh, Street Rider 100 Kenny, or Rider Files, let's see, where is he? Yeah, right there. And uh, he gave up one. He said to see where can I find his sticker to the Carolina man. So <clears throat> I'll have those this afternoon. And uh, again, it's the cost of the T-shirt and the uh, and shipping. We'll do flat rate boxes, and uh, I'll come up back when I get to. The invoice I'll come back and let you know the prices and uh, and then the cost of shipping uh, again if you're going to want one uh, send me the money uh, PayPal do friends and family so PayPal doesn't take their fees out uh, I just want to break even on this uh, I don't want to lose any money if at all possible so when I have more I'll turn this back on later hey tubers okay I'm back from Henderson so here's the deal on the shirts, okay? There are seven extra large t-shirts. There are ten double extra large t-shirts. And Carolina Man, Kenny gave up one of his triple extra large t-shirts. And that's for, um, he said you can have that one. All right, <clears throat> multiple shirts will be going into the uh, priority mail on... Uh, and uh, postal service, they, this worked out great the last time. Uh, so two or more of uh, the extra large or double extra large will go in there. Plus the one to you, Carolina man, will go into here. Single shirts can fit in here. I've did it before. These are small priority priority uh, flat rate boxes. And they've gone in there. Uh, the flat rate box to ship is seven dollars and fifteen cents. The Envelope figure try to figure this one out is six dollars and ninety five cents to ship. Each shirt will cost eleven dollars and forty cents a piece. Uh, that's exactly what I paid for them, tax and everything included. So that's it. I just want to break even on this. So if you want a shirt, let me know. Uh, again, we'll use PayPal. Uh, send it as friends and family. So PayPal doesn't take their fees out because I'm not trying to make any money on this. I'm just trying to break even. And uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, that's basically it. When these run out, I don't plan on printing these ever again. Uh, if you want a shirt like this, uh, you'll need to contact D.W. Darren and Andrea and see if they're going to make another print of it. But I won't. But however... We do have another design that's in the works for a YouTube Garage Gang shirt, and uh, when we get that, which will probably be in a couple of weeks, I will post that and see who wants one of these. So that's all I got for now. Uh, we'll jump back on the car. I did stop at Hobby Lobby and got the fleece. Funny thing about it is they didn't have solid colors, so. I got the one that had uh, the cars logo on it for uh, because it, it had different logos and they were all the same price and it was on sale. I got more than enough to do it. It was quite reasonable. Uh, it's two yards worth and it only came to uh, $19.68. So we're going to finish doing some welding on this. Get that ground down and everything else. Get this out. I have to pick up one more item and then we'll go. So when I have more I'll turn this back on. Later guys. Hey tubers. 
what fitting to use Lightning McQueen fleece for the uh, cover of the panel. Uh, you see I got uh, all these little binder clips I guess you might call them. I don't know what they are but uh, they're cheap. Uh, when the fiberglass dries you just have to grind them down and actually all this here most of this fleece will be ground away and everything else to show the panel same thing there you can see I don't know if you can see it but there's fishing line there used to define the edge of the panel and it comes right down on top of the ribs uh, when I was taught this I was taught to use uh, unwaxed dental floss and go out there to try to find unwaxed dental floss right now is kind of ridiculous I thought of putting in bracing going across and you see I didn't because I this is just to give the 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 uh, the fleece something to hang on to uh, usually if you want a corner or a contour to go in there you can sit there and drape, uh, drape across here some of the the dental floss onto two heavy bolts and have it pulled down uh, the plastic fishing line will just become one with the fiberglass so that's why I decided to use that uh, again I use a bristle brush rather than a foam brush a foam brush will load up too much on the rosin that's the rosin I use uh, not saying this is the right way or the wrong way it's just the way I was taught God ages ago and uh, whenever I've done this probably since I was taught maybe two times after that and then I saw saw it on TV somebody using this method of making uh, panels this will become hard you can body work it you can do anything else where this mounts back up towards the package tray we'll have some gaps in here that's when we'll end up starting to fiberglass some mat in here this is the first part of just making this this is supposed to ride down close to the carpet at this end coming around here again we can load this edge up with some mat and build it up so this is where we're at right now and uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, glassing it up and uh, when it gets done and it's all cured and dried uh, we'll uh, turn it on and let you show you the finish this portion of the finished product it's not 100 percent finish so when I have more I'll turn this back on later alright tubers first coat is on there will probably be a total of three coats put on here before it's all said and done back on the binder clips or whatever you call the what do they call them hold on mini binder clips yeah okay back on the binder clips uh, you can pop these handles off and then just grind down what you need and make it smooth and and uh, body fill over it I mean it's simple and they hold really good uh, this is going to set up and uh, we'll give it another coat uh, we'll keep giving you coats until we get a hard shell which will probably be three coats so uh, that's all I got for now uh, when I have more I'll turn this back on later hey tubers uh, just gave it a second coat and uh, I'm not going to keep turning this on and everything else to show you what we're doing and coating putting coats of rosin on on this but you can see as it's starting to take shape and as the fiberglass sets up how we're going to end up with this and what the panel is going to look like so with that I'm going to end this video for today uh, I want to thank everybody for watching subscribing and uh, leaving comments and uh, we'll pick this up possibly tomorrow later